Hi, this is Tony Lin. Uh, welcome to my channel, where I will report the news that you will never hear from the mainstream media. During this pandemic, whenever the mainstream media they have a question about the vaccination, uh, they will always invite a person, uh, the expert of the expert, the doctor of the doctor, Mr. Dr. Fauci, uh, to give his advice. What the mainstream media they don't mention, and uh, most people they don't understand, is that uh, Dr. Fauci. Uh, he has a financial motivation to sell the vaccine and more specifically is Moderna vaccine. In this video, I'm going to show you an article from the famous British science journal called natural.com. And in this article, I'm going to show you this Moderna vaccine is actually developed not just by Moderna but also a partner with the uh, NIH, uh, Dr. Fauci, his organization. And they have a contract and agreement that for every dose of uh, Moderna vaccine sales, uh, Dr. Fauci and his organization can actually collect the royalty uh, from the Moderna. As usual, I'll include the link for you so you can uh, verify this article yourself. So this is from the uh, natural.com, the famous uh, British science journal. So here's the title, it says, uh, what the Moderna NIH COVID vaccine pattern fight means for research. It was a testament to the power of the collaboration scientists at the biotechnology firm Moderna Therapeutic team up with the government researchers at the U.S. National Institutes of the Health (NIH). Uh, this is uh, the Dr. Fauci's uh, organization. But the bowling pattern dispute between the collaborators also showcased the complexities of teamwork. As the two groups uh, battle over whether NIH researchers were unfairly left off as a co-inventors on a pivotal vaccine patent application. Uh, the stakes are high. Moderna, which is based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, has project that it will make up to the US 18 billion on its COVID-19 vaccine this year. Inventor status could enable the NIH to collect royalties and potentially recouping some of its investment of the taxpayers' money. So uh, there you go. And here is the here. Let me show you the numbers from the website Statista. And this is the revenue of the Madonna Inc. from 2016 to 2021. And uh, and this revenue is in uh, millions of US dollars. So as you can see uh, from the 2016 to 2020, uh, almost uh, not much. However, you can see the 2021. Uh, all the Madonna's revenue are uh, 17, uh, 17 billion dollars is from the COVID-19 vaccine. And imagine Dr. Fauci and his organization, NIH, they could collect a portion of these $17 billion. Uh, the more Madonna vaccine sells, uh, the more royalty the NIH could collect. So when the mainstream media, they ask the question from Dr. Fauci, uh, hey, uh, should we uh, vaccinate our children? Hey, uh, should we get the booster? Uh, in my opinion, it is the same thing. Uh, if you go to the McDonald and uh, you see the store manager and you ask the store manager, hey, uh, is your French fries uh, delicious and safe or uh, is your soda uh, delicious and safe? What do you expect to hear from Dr. Fauci? 
So I didn't make things up. Here is the mainstream media. Uh, they asked Dr. Fauci about whether should we give the vaccination to our young children. Let's take a look how Dr. Fauci answered. What do you anticipate when it comes to giving shots to children where people will lean? Well, I hope they'll be enthusiastic about it. Children of all ages do get infected as readily as adults. Many of them have asymptomatic infections, so you don't notice it. But they do get infected and they do pass the infection. So we would hope that family members who are responsible for the children will realize that and will be enthusiastic about getting their children vaccinated. So Dr. Fauci said uh, the children can be infected like adults. However, what he didn't tell you is the risk of the severe disease is very different from the children and adults. Let me share this Lancet study with you. And I'll also include the link in case you want to verify the data. So this Lancet study, they did a COVID-19 fatality rate for people in different age. And uh, here in this table, you can see uh, the people who infect with the COVID-19, their chance of the dying uh, from the one year old to 100 years old from this table. So you can see uh, from the one year old, after they infect with the COVID, uh, their chance of the dying is 0.0054%. Uh, and two years old is 0.0040%. And uh, um, for the children uh, until the 12 years old, you can see the change of the fatality is 0.0036%. Uh, however, if you keep scoring down as the age increases, you can see the fatality rate increases as well. So uh, if you keep scoring down, on the, you can see if you check the 60 years old uh, your after you infect with covid your chance of the uh, your fatality rate is uh, one is more than one percent uh, dr fauci he just tell you the children can get infected just like adults however he didn't tell you uh, the severe case among the children is very different than the adults and he just told you to enthusiastically to vaccinate your children. This sounds like to me he is the salesman or more than the scientist. Here is another video uh, from the mainstream media. They asked Dr. Fauci uh, whether uh, we should uh, uh, vaccinate uh, the 50 years old for the fourth shot. Let me play this video for you. If you are over 50 right now, uh, would you get that fourth shot? I mean, if, if should those over 50 go ahead and get that fourth shot, or should they, or should all of us wait? I recommend you go and get the shot if you are over 50. All right, then you've heard it from the man himself. Pretty clear Dr. recommendation. Anthony, <laughs> very clear. We we love clarity, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you. What do you expect he would answer this question? Uh, just like when you go to McDonald's and you ask the store manager, is your french fries good to eat? Uh, is your french fries good for the people for 50 years old? Uh, is your french fries are good for people who are overweight? What do you expect to hear? So there you go. I hope from watching my video, people can learn to understand uh, we shouldn't listen to the advice from a person who has a conflict of the interest. Because whenever uh, there is a conflict of the interest, it doesn't matter if he is a doctor or if he is a, uh, if he is scientist, it uh, doesn't matter. You will never hear an objective answer from the person who has a conflict of the interest. So if you think this video is informative, uh, please hit the like button and again, to share this video with more people so people can understand uh, like Dr. Fauci and NIH uh, actually uh, they can collect the royalty from the Madonna vaccine and if you ask the advice from the Dr. Fauci about the vaccination what do you expect to hear? Uh, there will be only one answer and one answer only you should be 
enthusiastically to take that thing. So thank you for watching today's video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can always get the latest update that you will never hear from the mainstream media. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.